Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my 2012 favorites. I'm sorry this is late, but I ended up recording it previously before the new year even started, but I didn't like how it turned out. So I decided to ask you guys on Facebook how I should do it and um, they, a few people said that I should um, just do it by category and only choose like one to two products per category instead of showing you all of my favorites. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, yeah, I'm going to get started. First, I'm going to talk about my moisturizer that I've been loving this year is the Clinique Dr Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. And it looks like this. Um, I have super dry skin and this is just amazing for it. Um, I've tried a few drugstore brands and they just don't seem to work like this does for me. Um, so I really love this and I will repurchase a new one. I've had this one since February 2012 and I still have majority of it left. I mean less than half but I love this and yeah you're probably going to hear me say that a million times. Next, I'm going to talk about like my foundation products. Um, I don't really need a lot of coverage, or at least I feel like I don't. Um, I never have had acne prone skin, so I don't have a lot to cover up. And I just recently started breaking out like in this area. So all I really use if I need extra coverage there is some concealer. So I mainly just use tinted moisturizers and BB creams. Occasionally I would use a foundation, but not really. In most of 2012, I actually, yeah, six months of 2012, I was pregnant. So um, I didn't, most of the time I didn't feel like wearing makeup all the time. So the two products that I've used the most for my face is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. And it's basically like a tinted moisturizer. It's not really a BB cream in my opinion compared to the other BB creams I have tried. And um, this is in the shade Light Medium. But like I said, I don't need a lot of coverage, so this is what I've been using. And the other one um, is the Neutrogena um, Natural Radiant Look, and it's fair to light. And it's basically a tinted moisturizer, but a little bit more coverage. Um, I use this when I don't want to use this, mainly because I've only seen this one place in my area, and that is Bed Bath & Beyond, and I don't go there, like, ever, so... Um, I don't even know if they probably still have it there because I bought this so long ago. But anyways, these are the two that I've been loving for that. Now, I suffer from really dark under eye circles, bags, whatever you want to call them. Um, I kind of always have, and when I got pregnant, they got worse. And then after I had the baby, of course, they got worse. So I've been trying to find like a Holy Grail um, concealer to use. And the one that I found best at the drugstore, I've tried a few high ends and they don't, those don't seem to work either. Um, this one is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer and I have it in Radiant. I'll probably pick it up in a color next time, but it's just a stick concealer and it has like the little um, wand and you just like draw it in and then I pat it in or I use my beauty blender. Um, it's a highlighting concealer, so it brightens up my under eye circles. I don't have that on today because I am trying something new. And yeah, but I really love this and I really recommend it if you have dark under eye circles. It does work compared to like a lot of the other ones. So go pick this up if you haven't yet to try it. I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty cheap. It's at the drugstore. As for my favorite face powder, I love the e.l.f. Press Powder, and this is in the color Sand. I have it in a few other shades, too, but I just love this for the days that I don't feel like wearing anything on my face um, other than some concealer. I'll put some powder on, and it has decent coverage for a powder, and um, it's great for setting, and as you can tell, I've used a lot of this. I love this stuff. Um, this is, like, the third one that I've hit pan on, and... They're amazing. Um, it's definitely my favorite pressed powder from the drugstore. Um, as for bronzers, um, I couldn't choose between the two because this is more of my summer bronzer that I use to contour with. And this is the Too Faced Choco Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder with Real Cocoa. And um, like I said, I only use it to contour. But it smells amazing and I use it when I have a darker skin tone, a tan, but um, 
in the winter months or even when I don't feel like using that because it is pretty expensive. I use the NYC Smooth Skin um, Bronzer and this is in Sunny. And you guys have probably heard this a lot on my channel and other people's channel. Um, it's amazing. It's a matte bronzer and yeah, that's what I'm using today to contour. I love it. As for my favorite blush, I just recently depotted all my e.l.f. blushes. I know there's only four, but um, it didn't turn out like I hoped. My favorite blush of the year is definitely um, Candid Coral. So Candid Coral is this top one. It's amazing. I love it. Um, it's better for like the spring and the summer months because corals are more in then, but I've worn it in the winter months too. It's just the most like natural blush um, that I have and love. Um, it does have like an orange tint to it, but that's just the coral part. So that's my favorite blush and my favorite highlighter is definitely the Benefit High Beam. I have a little sample here and it's lasted forever. I've had this since February and I use it to highlight my cheekbones. I love it. I don't have it on today because the blush that I'm wearing kind of has a glow to it. So I don't want to like overglow my face, but it's just amazing. Um, I got this in like a little value kit from Sephora. Now for eyebrows. This is probably going to be my holy grail item for a long time. Um, this is the Sally Girl Brow Powder in Brunette. It doesn't make my eyebrows orange like most tinted stuff does um, that I put in my eyebrows. This is just amazing and this is like the third one that I have went through. It has like a lighter shade and a darker shade. I mix the two to create my eyebrows. I have it on today. I absolutely love it. And I think it was only like 99 cents at Sally's. And then to set my brows, I use the Maybelline Clear Transparent Great Lash Mascara. And this has like some color to it because my brow powder got into it. But it still works. It's amazing. And I love it. As for my favorite eyeshadow primer, um, I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite, but I have used it a ton in 2012, and I would repurchase it. It's the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this bad boy I've had for a very long time, and it's lasted forever, and there's still a lot in it. Um, I like this better than the Urban Decay Primer Potion, um, the regular one, but I do prefer the um, Eden one in the summer because I feel like it holds my eyeshadows better because when you're hot and stuff. But I do love this more than the Urban Decay Primer Potion. As for eyeshadows, I of course love my Naked 1 palette. I do love my Naked 2 but this is definitely the one I reach for the most. Um, my favorite colors in this are definitely Sin, Naked, Toasted, and sometimes sidecar but i've had this since 2011 i believe and um yeah it's i've not hit pan on any of them and i've used them a ton but i absolutely love this palette and like i've said a few times if my house ever catches on fire and my child is okay and so are my pictures um this is the next thing i'm reaching for i love that um another eyeshadow combination that I have worn a whole bunch in 2012 is the um, Maybelline Color Tattoo and Audacious Asphalt as my base. And yeah, as you can tell, I've used a lot of that. And then on top of that, I will use the Physicians Formula Nude Palette. I know they've recently come out with some new ones, but this is the older version. Um, you can still get it in stores. I just seen it last week. And I just use a combination of these three brown shades. I just take a blending brush and mix it in there and then put it all over my lid, blend it in my crease. And it's such a beautiful, smoky look. I think I've done a tutorial on it. If I did, I'll link it down below. Um, I may recreate it just because I love it so much. But anyways... For my favorite eyeshadow brushes, I have a lot of brushes and just like I do a lot of eyeshadow and a lot of blush. So this was really hard to choose from, but um, these are probably the ones that I reach for every single day. This is the Target Up and Up brand crease brush and it's just a normal dome crease brush. I use this to blend out my eyeshadow, to place some eyeshadow. I need to go pick up some more of these. these are my absolute favorite and 
I recommend it to anybody. It's like a dollar and they work so amazing. They're soft. They're not, they, they're not cheap at all. Like they don't feel cheap. And the other thing is the Sigma pencil brush, the E30. And I only have two of these. I used it today. That's why it has product on it. Um, but yeah, I just love it to deepen my outer V and to put eyeshadow underneath my eye, um, my lower lash line and my inner corner. Um, I need to get some more of them, but I just hate order ordering from Sigma because you got to get it shipped to you. So that kind of sucks. As for, oh, I forgot, my favorite mascara is the Maybelline One by One Volume Express, and I have it in Black is Black. Um, I love this mascara. I cannot even tell you how many people I've recommended this to. It's not really volumizing, but it is lengthening, and it's not like spider lashes or anything like that. It's amazing, and that's what the wand looks like. Um... I love this mascara. I will always repurchase it, even though I just found a new favorite, but this is definitely still my favorite. As for lip products, I only reach for like two. You guys know I don't really like lip products. I kind of want to start getting into them, but I kiss my baby too much and my fiance, so I just, I just don't understand why people are so obsessed with them. Maybe it's just me. I'm weird. I don't know. But as you can tell, I own a lot of EOS lip balms. I have more than that. Um, that's just some of them, but I love my EOS lip balms. I'm addicted to them. Um, I got this one in 2012. It's the from the Alice in Wonderland collection. This is the blueberry one. It's definitely my favorite scent, but obviously it's, I haven't used it the most out of the year. Um, I've used the purple one. And if I wear color on my lips, I use the Maybelline um, Baby Lips in Cherry Me. Um, it's comes off as a really bright red, but when you put it on your lips, it's very sheer, and I just love it. My video is probably going to end up cutting out because my battery's dying for some reason, but um, my favorite nail polishes. My favorite top coat is definitely Out the Door Top Coat. It's better than Sachet V. It's very comparable to it, but it doesn't have all the bad effects like it can like make your baby grow like four arms. It has a lot of bad effects on it. If you read the tiny, tiny little thing at the bottom, um, it says it can cause all kinds of like birth defects and hormonal problems and reproductive problems. And yeah, I try and stay away from that stuff. Um, the next thing is the Rimmel London Lasting Finishing Pro. And this is in Wild Orchid. I have that on my nails today. Um, this is just my favorite purple and this is a great formula. It's very creamy. Also, the Essie Ladylike nail polish is just so beautiful. Um, it's more of a fall color, but I do wear it all year long. And the last one is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Nail Polish in Diamond in the Rough. And it's like a thick glitter. You only need one coat. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, and my other one is the Essie Bikini Sotini. This is an amazing blue. It's like neon on your nails. It's amazing. So I have two more products for skincare, um, the L'Oreal 360 Face Wash and Sensitive. It comes with a little spongy thing. It's amazing. I've bought like three or four of these and also my Clarisonic Mia. Um, I have really dry skin like I mentioned and this just helps it so much. I do it about twice a week.